our very first location in this ship tour is Coastal Kitchen up on deck 17 aft here. This restaurant is available for all sweet guests. A really nice fine dining experience here. And additionally, part of this area is the sweet lounge. So exclusive for sweet guests and nice perk here and amazing views inside. Let's go take a look. Here we are at Coastal Kitchen. It's a specialty restaurant available for lunch and dinner on board the Allura of the Seas here. This restaurant is exclusive for sweet guests here as it is next to the sweet lounge over here. And there's a bar where you can hang out and enjoy some delicious food. One of the many perks of being in a suite. Throughout the day, there is amenities from snacks and cocktail hours for you to enjoy here in the suite lounge, enjoying some of the views from the rest of the ship, looking out onto all the activities happening down below, and comfy loungers and chairs that just hang out, take some time and relax. Now, if you're curious about some of the most luxurious cabins throughout the allure of the sea, be sure to check out the whole entire playlist as I go through so many different categories of the loft suites, royal loft suites, panoramic suites, so many that you will want to check these out and those get, get perks to what we just saw. We made it to the Windjammer. Now the Windjammer is open for breakfast, lunch, dinner, even afternoon snack as well. So many different selections from different type of cuisines. They even have an Indian section, a carving station, so much honestly to choose from. Also a lot of fresh items. I love to get their salads that are made to toss. You can kind of make it yourself with the Caesar salad, things of that sort. A lot to choose from, like I said, and a lot of seating. Throughout the entire cruise, I haven't had the issue trying to find a seat, and it wraps around. There's actually two sides of the buffet as well. After leaving the Windjammer, it's time to explore some of the rest of the deck as we make our way throughout. So underneath us, you can see all of the super festive colors of the kids' splash area here, along with a lot of pools. So there's a big whirlpool across the way, a big pool, and then my favorite, a whirlpool. Just like kids, when you were kids, or at least when I was a kid, I would run around in a circle and we'd make a whirlpool. Well, that one does it for you. But we'll get more to that in a minute because that's the floor down below us here. But up on the lower of the seas, we have a lot of seating for sun desk, lounging, enjoying. I really enjoy the colorful clam shells. Uh, really nice to kind of enjoy, take a nap throughout the day. But we're coming up to another venue throughout the ship here. We have the Mass Bar. So during the sail away, this is a spot where you'll want to grab a drink, enjoy yourself, and actually sail away uh, happens right in this area as well. So people will lean on these railings and peer down at to the activity staff dancing. So this is a great spot if you want to be close to the action, but not right up in the action. And then we'll continue walking onto the other side and we'll see what else we can offer you over here. We have now arrived at the Solarium. This is your own quiet oasis here. So this area is pretty cool because it's actually 16 and up. So an adult's area. We're setting up the bar here and get this. It's actually two floors. So unlimited space to hang out and lounge. We're in the very forward of the ship here. And we're gonna take a look at the other floor so we can show you some of the whirlpools and offerings over here. So this one is like crescent shaped, comfy seating, really nice ambiance with all of like the little water spouts as well. And then we have an, a pool which goes up to three feet deep. And then throughout the day, it's very nice and warm in here, cozy, enjoying because of how the uh, windows are blocking the wind and it's not fully enclosed so you get that fresh air feel and it's an enjoyable space but it's not overly hot because it, sometimes it can get like suffocatingly hot with it being you know cruising in the Caribbean and just too warm so really nice space and then we'll take a look on inside we have the Samba Grill along with the Solarium Bistro 
which are some dining options for you right over here. Next up, we are here within the Solarium. It's the Solarium Bistro, but also we have Samba Grill. So during the afternoon, you can grab a snack here at this location. Actually, this is where I came when I first boarded the ship. It's optimal for me as I think it's a little bit of a less crowded area to grab a bite to eat. And spoiler alert, there was even a lobster tail on this buffet for lunch and vacation day. Amazing way to start the cruise, am I right? If you love seafood as much as I do, be sure to hit the thumbs up because we're on the same page. So what is kind of cool is that in the evening for dinner, this becomes Samba Grill. And with this restaurant, it's a Brazilian steakhouse. If you've ever had a Brazilian steakhouse or been to one before, you know that they walk around with big swords basically, and all the meat is on the sword. You'll come sit at a table and you'll tell them whether or not you want different cuts of meat. They'll walk around with different kinds from chicken, bacon wrapped chicken, all the different kinds. But if I had one recommendation for you, I would definitely recommend the caipirinha. Coming off of the solarium, we have these cantilevered hot tubs or whirlpools and they are giving infinity views. So really pretty views of this the water. It's feeling warm, it's feeling warm. I'm ready to get in my suit and dip in. Let me know if you'll be joining me. This is a great spot to hang out and get this. There's a TV. So currently I don't hear any sound. It might just be visual, but you can enjoy some of the sports and things like that that are happening. If it's a football game or whatever that you don't want to miss, you can really lounge here and hang out for a while. But this is right here on the main pool deck. I'll show you some of the rest of the offerings as well. So on each side of the pool deck here, we do have whirlpools. They're covered from the sun here, so in case it gets too, too hot, you're not baking your skin as you're roasting yourself in the whirlpools. And then a nice pool here as well. You can see we have really nice calm sailings. The pool is like nearly still and the water is barely moving, uh, but really nice. So this pool gets up to four feet, nine inches in the deep end and four feet in the shallow end and then this little area too. Kind of sit and wade in the shallow area. So that's kind of nice. And then now we're approaching another bar. But before we do that, this area right here is what I was mentioning with Sail Away and also an area where a band will set up and perform throughout the day. So you'll see live music right in this action so this area really comes to life. And if you're curious, this is a major part of the ship. We're looking down at Central Park, which we'll get to as well, but really cool to see. These are Central Park balconies. These are staterooms that are looking out into Central Park. And we have so many examples of staterooms from this crew. So if you're looking to see that, we will definitely link that in the description. Now this is worth noting as well, especially when it's a hot day, you can run over the sprinkles here and get yourself an ice cream cone, vanilla chocolate twist. Thank you. All right, now we're ready to continue on to the rest of the dining options. By the way, if you guys enjoy cruising just as much as I do and you're looking to find some of the best deals, be sure to check out our travel partners. I will link them down in the description box and their email right here so you can get the best deals and answer all of your questions about booking a cruise on the lower of the seas or other ships. Cheers. And it is the pool bar here, of course, on the pool deck. So they're gonna make your famous Coco Locos, all the blended drinks, perfect for cooling off and ready to kick off the vacation. Great spot to hang out. So they also have a patty shop. So if you are into scuba diving, you can actually learn how to scuba dive on the cruise, which I think is amazing. So select sailings will have this. If you're on a super short sailing, it might not be offered because you need to do the experience and practice a couple times throughout the cruise, but how cool to get certified and then you'll practice in those deep pools that we just showed you. We have made our way to the aft of the ship and now we are at the view properly and appropriately named because of how incredible the views are back here. So we're looking at exactly the putt-putt golf, miniature golf here back here. Really fun to uh, just grab one of the, the putters, the uh, golf balls, it's free to play and enjoy. You can see some people enjoying it right now. And 
and we also have great views of the zip line. So the zip line comes from this end and will move right down onto that end. Additionally, it's free as well. And then we're looking up at the windjammer windows right here. And then above us there is some of the suites. So we have like Royal Loft Suites, beautiful, beautiful state rooms as well up there from those views looking out onto here. We have people playing paddle ball, or no, pickleball. Pickleball is so popular and trendy these days. I've never played, but you're seeing it pop up on cruise ships as well as on land so much. Have you guys played? I should start learning, huh? Great view of the Allure of the Sea sign. Picture photo op right there. Oh, and then of course below us is Central no, excuse me. Then of course below us is the boardwalk. So not only do we have the merry-go-round, we have Johnny Rockets, uh, the aqua theater and restaurants for you to enjoy. So really nice to uh, just hang out back here because you can hear all the fun happening below you and all the action happening right on this deck. We're gonna pop up into here because we are entering the splash zone. Get ready for this surfs up because this is the flow rider this ship the allure of the seas actually offers two flow riders the flow riders actually are very popular to enjoy and they're a lot of fun careful not to wipe out too hard but they offer two on this ship because you can have one operating as uh, knee boarding or boogie boarding and another operating for those who are a little more advanced to offer stand up surfing. So we'll make our way around to the other side so you can see them both, but we also have the Wipeout Bar. The Wipeout Bar is named for all the wipeouts that you might have on the Flow Rider. Great aft views of where we were coming from in the aft of the ship here, and then the other Flow Rider as well. So here's a poll for you. If you think I should try the Flow Rider in my next ship tour, let me know down in the comments down below type the wave emoji and then i'll know that i'll do this if i get you guys to tell me that you want to see me doing <laughs> all the pickleball action and competition here so these are different type of paddles and then my understanding is that the balls have um holes in them so they're like light balls and very popular but now we're moving on into one of the major changes that happened on the allure of the seas that you may not know about is that the wipe out cafe so this is one of my now favorite spots to grab a quick bite on the ship here for lunch or a late afternoon snack is the Wipeout Cafe because it is featuring El Loco Fresh. You can grab all your favorite Mexican cuisine from the quesadillas, tacos, burritos, and then dine El Fresco here in the outdoor seating with all of the action. You know, add your hot sauces, your salsas, what have you. Really nice. It's such a fan favorite. So many people enjoy it as well. We additionally have the ping pong as well and just more seating. We are still on deck 15, but now we're inside and we'll take a look at the Challengers Video Arcade. So if you're looking to play some games, this is where a lot of kids will wanna hang out. You can use one of the machines to put some money on the uh, your card, your, uh, your sale card, so that way uh, they can kinda monitor how much you wanna allow your kids to use all the games and such so if you put you know fifty dollars on for the cruise then they have their limit and they can pace themselves out if they're old enough to to do that but yeah here is the arcade and the options you know fun 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 i want to play we've made it into the living room so this is one of the teen spaces on board here and it is so super cool with foosball tables lounge spaces just for the kids to hang out play games there's also uh, a bar which of course they're not going to be serving alcoholic beverages but for them to make you know 
the sodas and things of that sort for the kids to enjoy. Little nooks, how fun. There's also some pictures on the wall here of the current youth staff so you can get to know them. Very, very cool. And if your teens or kiddos are coming to use Adventure Ocean on board, my recommendation is to make sure that they come and visit these spaces and go to the orientation. In the beginning of the cruise, a lot of times the kids will meet a lot of friends and things of that sort early on and then they go and hang out and do the same type of activities throughout the cruise and those that don't go early on kind of miss out on the boat per se but here we also have a DJ kind of fun stage here I'm sure they have some fun dance parties as well TVs for your PlayStations your Xboxes so now we are in fuel which is another part of adventure ocean so they also have a dj booth for fun action and then areas to hang out lots of seating lots of youth activity staff that will hang out with them play games entertain them in this area and different like challenges throughout the cruise scavenger hunts we've seen and a lot of fun and now during this cruise, this space is actually being used by uh, some team members as this is a special cruise. So there is some additional equipment and setup in here and chairs off to the side that wouldn't normally be here. Now we are on deck 14 in the aft of the ship and we have Seven Hearts card room. So this area is where you can play board games, also play cards. They have chess tables and checkers as well. So much fun to kind of enjoy this area. It's a quiet space to just enjoy some games. Oh, Pete the cat, how cute. So these are some of the examples of what they have. Uno, regular decks of cards as well. Monopoly, Scrabble. And then they also have some computers as well. So if you had Voom internet and you didn't have your own laptop or your phone to log in, they have these computers that you could log in as well if you purchase the Boom Internet package. And then it looks like there's a printer too. So perhaps you want to print your boarding pass, your flight. We have that as well. See some people playing cards in here and reading, relaxing. I will say though that I wouldn't hang out with your laptop here if you're looking to do work for a very long time because there aren't a lot of outlets throughout for you to plug in. Not only do they have a card room, but they have a, a library as well. So this is deck 11 in the app of the ship. We just moved on further down, but they have loads of books that you can borrow and use out on the pool deck. So a little of the sea is courtesy to the guests. And they just ask that you borrow it upon returning. Here is the entrance into the Diamond Club. There's currently a function going on, so we'll have to see about coming back to this venue. We've made it to Central Park. Ah, oh, feel the breeze here and the fresh air as this space is loaded with real live trees, greenery, flowers. It's very pretty and fun to walk around and see all of the specialty dining restaurants that are here in this location along with the park cafe and then get this if you're looking to perhaps change the scenery out of the central park you can jump on the rising tide bar and ride it up and down so it goes from deck eight where we are right now down to deck number five and that'll bring you to the Royal Promenade. Now this rising tide bar operates on about a 30 minute, 45 minute schedule. If you're ever confused or curious on when the next departure is from the location, there's a sign that tells you as well of the next departure so you can ride it. And the ride isn't long at all. It's not even really a ride because it's not fast, it's slow. It's more of an experience. Now let's take a look at some of the restaurants on board here at Chops Grill. bar so if you're looking to enjoy a little nightcap with the evening this is a fun spot also note that this area actually comes to life in the evening all of this becomes illuminated 
fun neon kind of lights to enjoy as you walk through. Now, if you're wondering what this is, we can peep down right through that glass and look into the Royal Promenade. Additionally, we have picture this, the photo studio. So if you wanted to take any photos within the studio, other professional portraits, they have that option. And we have other shopping options. So Regalia in the park, which has some nice fine options for you. And then additionally, coach. More shopping found on the Royal Promenade. A little hidden fact for you too though here, since we're right beneath it, is this, this right here is not a private balcony. This is an area where you can go and hang out. So if you go just one deck up on deck number nine, you can check this out as a little area to sit in a private hidden oasis, peering out and watching into Central Park. Welcome to Dazzles. Now we are on deck eight and check out this fun lounge space. It's actually two floors. So we have up here on deck eight, below us on deck seven, tons of seating and a lot happens in here. So they have bar service down below and also uh, crew members, wait staff will come up and serve you up here as well if you wanted to grab a drink. But check this out. They have a space for all of the live music and an incredible view throughout the day of all the action with the crown and anchor and the aft of the ship with the boardwalk behind you. And then in the evening, they close the curtain and it becomes this fun nighttime venue of all the action with dance, dance parties, cocktails, a lot of fun. Get ready for the next hidden spot. Deck 14, the sun deck all the way forward not everyone knows that you can come and hang out here loungers and there is signing but perhaps we'll see and prove that it won't be that crowded so here we are we've made it to the end here now it's very quiet relaxing area people might just come up here for a little peace quiet relaxation watch the bow of the ship Maybe you could even see dolphins during sail away from this location as well. I heard from some other people on board that they did. I didn't see any dolphins yet or throughout this cruise, but it would be the prime location as they like to jump from the forward and kind of chase along with the ship here. And this was a great spot for sail away too, to wave goodbye to the port. So here is the Aquanauts for three to five. Looks like a really fun space with a giant slide. They will have to be potty trained to be in this room here. Diaper free zone, treat free zone, passy free zone. And while kids are in there, it's a, a photo free zone as well. So we have our explorers six to eight in this side as well. So the reception and they're setting up the toys for the kiddos and then this side over here is for voyagers 9 to 10. I see books, computers, all type of activities, a huge space to enjoy like the carpet to play games and activities. This is the teen only area. Uh, that sign says 12 to 17 so it looks like they might multi-purpose some of it depending on how many kids are on a sailing. So this is actually the Royal Babies and Tots here for ages zero to three, diaper free zone, just to hang out and enjoy with the little kiddos, super cute for them to enjoy the space. This is actually paid, so it's usually about $8 in the AM or $9 in the PM. And uh, if you have a second child, then it is a little bit discounted and they take really great care. My child has been in Adventure Ocean Babies, Royal Babies and Tots and using the service before. Okay, this is actually open play, which I'm really excited about because I love when ships have this. It's an area where you can just come with your own kid if you want to play with them and not drop them off per se. This is where they can just enjoy and you can be with them together because in the other space, you're not able to have that hands-on interaction with the kids, but this is just a little haven for the youngest kiddos. I love using the juice bar here at Vitality Spa. They have 
coffee is as well, serving Starbucks, and then the freshly pressed juices here. Having a carrot juice today and had a green juice yesterday, so if you have the beverage package, these are included. Not everybody knows that, so it's definitely a must stop. And also a little bite with some banana bread. Fun to visit after your spa experience. Now the jogging track is pretty fun because not only if you walk around five miles, yeah, that's 12 times. But if you want to do two and a half miles, if you want to do two and a half laps, it's one mile. Uh, but on other ships, I've seen that the jogging track has little encouraging words as you go along. So let's take a look and see if they have those. Oh, I don't see it yet. And right this way is the Vitality at Sea Spa. So through here are all of the treatment rooms for all of your services from hot stone massage, your wraps, seaweed wraps, what have you. You can enjoy all of this through here. So there's a relaxation room while you're waiting for a treatment and the thermal suites as well for you to enjoy all the different services throughout the spa. Additionally, they have a youth spa. So for any of the teens that are looking to enjoy some treatments as well, they can accommodate that, which is so cool. We've made it to deck five, and this is the Royal Promenade, the heart of the ship here. We have Starbucks and on air. This is where karaoke is held. Fun singing along to those tunes. You can also see some type of game shows potentially held in here throughout the cruise, but mainly this is the pop-in karaoke bar. And then across the way, we have Boleros, which is the Latin inspired venue. So you can dance along with the live music that happens throughout and the bar inside. It's a lot of fun to dance and enjoy this space here. Look how pretty <laughs> up on the ceiling is. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And there is where the magic happens on the dance floor. A lot of shopping right here on the Royal Promenade with the shop that has a lot of Royal Caribbean merchandise. Solera, Port Merchants, Regalia for fine jewelry. And additionally, we have Sorrento's, which is the pizza on board. So they have lots of different options along with other quick bites. Across the way, we have Bow and Stern. This is a bar that we have the option to listen to live music and kind of sit back and enjoy the relaxation of an Irish pub type of style. We've made it to the boardwalk. Oh my goodness, we can hear the bell ringing from the merry-go-round. A lot of action happening here on the boardwalk we have keep the boardwalk balconies as well. And this location really transforms from day to night with the different lights and all of the action happening. Definite fun photo opportunity too here with Allure of the Seas. But we have of course the merry-go-round. There is ice cream serving Ben and Jerry's and cupcakes. We have the Mexican Saber. And then uh, we have so much, honestly, I'll flip you around. Candy Beach for the candy shop. We have hot dogs as well at the Boardwalk Dog House. The horses that symbolize from the merry-go-round. This is a tradition on the Oasis class ships as we enter into the Boardwalk, which is kind of cool. And we also have Johnny Rockets. And then of course the main event of the boardwalk is the Aqua Theater. Pro tip is to make sure if you're looking to enjoy the Aqua Theater is to try and attend an early show because perhaps if you have rougher seas, the show could potentially get rescheduled, delayed, or even canceled. So it's always advised to go ahead and see it on those earlier nights in the cruise because there are high divers going from the very tippy tippy top 
And when the ship is super rocky, it makes it difficult for the pool underneath to keep the appropriate depth for when they're jumping. So that's why it may be delayed or canceled with the weather. But remember to look up as well because that's where the zip line goes over from where we were earlier on the sports deck. Here we are at Schooner Bar. Now Schooner Bar is found on every single Royal Caribbean ship here, which is super cool. But this lounge is a really great spot to listen to the live piano players, serenading you in the evening, enjoying a cocktail at the bar here. They offer some nice cocktails as well with the bar menu. I would recommend the lavender daiquiri. That is a fun one to try. And with the bar, they also have all this amazing seating that is really great to look out onto the Royal Promenade. Here on just the other side from Schooner Bar is Shore Excursions and the Photo Gallery. So they have these awesome kiosks where you can just swipe your CPASS card and see your photo. I'll do a quick swipe here and see if any of my photos will come up. So you have this swipe much slower and then I finally got this to turn on. But here are some of my embarkation photos. How fun. <laughs> Hamming it up for the camera with my cowgirl hat. So fun to look back at your photos and you can purchase them as well. All right here on the kiosk. So here on the Royal Promenade is the Champagne and Martini Bar really kind of cool to sit in this area here it's very beautiful they have the bar the bartenders will walk around flush seating nice vibe in the main dining room you will be on deck three four or five a lot of options for you to choose from and the dining room here is complimentary part of your cruise and you can also have brunch on sea days here along with some really nice sit down dinners all included in your cruise fare so this dining room is actually three different floors they have different names for each floor and depending on what time you are seated if you're doing early seating late seating or anytime seating that is determining on where you will sit throughout your cruise but take a look at how grand and luxurious it is to dine in this very large venue friends in this point of the video you might be wondering about where you're gonna rest your head at night after all of the excitement exploring all the different venues and what there is to see and do here on the allure of the seas so if that's you check out these videos right here in this playlist from this ship where they eat where they sleep so much to do and so much more to be seen here thanks so much for watching until next time ciao for now <laughs>